evening is approaching and we are back in this sector, the Germans are attacking again, maybe one of the last times, because this is actually round 33 of 34 of this monster campaign. So I'm close to actually finishing. Amazing. Now, the Germans have attacked here a lot of times, which is why this is like this whole ground is burned basically, especially in this killing zone here where they keep attacking and getting mowed down. I mean, look at this. This is like some World War One shit with dead bodies. Uh, at least it's cold, so they're probably not thinking that much, but yeah. And as always, we have our gauntlet of fire for them to run through. Throwing around the dead bodies. Getting some shrapnel in the air. 120mm mortars here and 82mm mortars back there. Especially for the 82mm mortars, we have so much ammunition that we can just blast everything here. And of course we have our four uh, anti-tank guns here. In because I did attack with tanks here at least once, so... Okay, um, enemy infantry appeared here. Where they hopefully soon will be shelled into oblivion. They're already looking in the... or crawling in the wrong direction, so that's a good start, I guess. shelling that um, approach route that they sometimes use to infiltrate. There used to be a lot of vegetation and yet it's all burnt off. Like it lo lo used to look everywhere like this and it's all gone. Just a moonscape at this point. And here comes the next mortar barrage and I think that actually hit close to where the jumps were, right? Well, they're certainly shouting about something, yeah. Yeah, German attack has reached my um, defensive fire here. And they're completely pinned down immediately, so that's good. These are the 82mm mortars. We have a lot of those. Same thing here. My infantry isn't even firing at them as of now. Yellow? Okay. That's good, I guess. <laughs> Unless... Well, did that come from me? Yeah, okay, good. It's the anti-tank gun fire to flare. Seems like... Okay, now he's running back. That's a heavy mortar. Alright, my pre-planned barrages are over. Let's see if they still attack. This guy certainly tries to. Dude. We'll wait for them to get a bit closer and then we'll open up. Uh, or they shoot first and then everybody will open up. But I dug new trenches here by the way to guard this approach route. Because as you can see here, they tried to get through there before. Alright. Guys, a pistol, probably an assistant machine gunner. That's a platoon HQ, I would say.
red flares everywhere because we make contact. Since they are reaching this part here now, I might actually tell everybody to fire soon. Just want them to be kind of on the forward slope here where most people can shoot. Fire discipline. <laughs> and we open up. <laughs> of course now the Germans will also shoot and the whole thing will devolve into a huge battle, but at least we got the first round in. Oh, okay, that's not good. Now that's something that the mortars have to deal with. Actually, the mortars can't see it, although they can see other things. But the machine, uh, not machine guns, yeah, well, the machine guns maybe too, but the uh, anti-tank guns can actually see it, so maybe uh, we can uh, nuke it with them. I told them uh, anti-tank guns, since there are no tanks so far, to shoot at infantry as well. Mortars are shelling over there. So that machine gun nest worries me, because that's actually in a pretty decent position where it's hard to shoot at it. Oh, it's suppressed though, so there's that. They're popping smoke over there, maybe they're pulling back. Suppressed. Would be nice to get a um, 45 mil round directly at this. Huh. We lost one of the anti-tank guns from the Lafettes, and to be honest, these are getting a huge pain in my ass because I don't have any support weapon set up position to hit them and they just keep shooting from long range at my infantry which mostly doesn't have machine guns to shoot back. I tried to get them with the anti-tank gun but that one doesn't have HE left and now of course it's taken out as well. So yeah this is getting annoying. I mean we still have three anti-tank guns here so it's not that bad. Although one of them is under crewed. I mean, we did take out some of their support weapons here, uh, or some of the support guys from the weapon, but also they brought up a second one of those. It's really getting annoying. Because they're causing quite a bunch of casualties without actually, uh, uh, like, being able to attack, and at the same time I can't shoot them. Just randomly firing at my guys, yeah. And here we go. A draw, but we lost quite a few people. 23, most to that one machine gun, basically. Well, and they had 28. We didn't have any killed, but we had heavily wounded ones from that. So yeah, that was fucking annoying. Okay, but obviously they didn't advance, so let's go back to the operational map. And here we are, still holding the line. Let's see what happens next. Okay, this is actually the last round, turn 34, and this is what happened in real life. In real life, apparently the Germans completely pushed back, and um, the first separate mountain rifle brigade and the 59th uh, ski battalion were encircled in this area here. Quite a difference in um, outcomes so far. Alright. Alright, this is it. This is the final battle, turn 34. And um, the Germans will attack here one last time, one hopefully last time, with these forces, reconnaissance forces and infantry. Maybe they will bring a tank, maybe not. Certainly it will be um, a very dark battle, because it's um, 1800 right now, so it's dusk. 
and we will do that in the next installment which will be the last one for this campaign and then I've actually beaten it. Amazing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it as always, thanks for watching and have a nice day.